Hey hey, so this is another personal video and as you can see I'm not in Leipzig anymore. I'm in my hometown, like the town where I grew up. My family's place, I can actually show you the room that I grew up in. Yeah, of course my sister changed that now, but um, yeah, basically that's the room where I grew up. And um, yeah, I came here with the train and I was thinking about different things. And I just wanted to share some things with you. Like, um, I was thinking about my life, my study, the future, also about the trade free idea and so on. And I think I realized that the world won't change tomorrow, not at all. Like, <laughs> this will be a never ending story. This will be a lifelong process. And um, yeah, it's, it's tricky to navigate in this world because you need to trade in one way or another to just kind of sustain yourself. And um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I really enjoy the study that much. I mean, you know, in February there are the exams, so you just gotta learn as much as possible and stuff everything in, you, in your head. And um, yeah, it's, I don't know if I enjoy it that much, so. I mean, if you really like love doing that, learning all the formulas and so on, um, then just go for it. I'm all for that. But in my case, I mean, I enjoy it as well. It is very interesting. I'm reading right now a book about um, the climate and um, it is so interesting. But then, you know, in the university, it's forced. Like, I'm not sure if I like really like this environment and if I want to keep doing that. I'm considering different options, like um, I'm considering working in the cable park or random cable park next year in summer and um, maybe also do then an apprenticeship as a carpenter because that gives some more opportunities, some different opportunities. Um, also sustain myself in the long run in, for the long time because, <laughs> you know, um, I was coming back, I was like driving with the train, coming back to my hometown and now here in my room um, things are the same, like my family and that town and of course some things change here and there but it's not like, um, yeah it's always just a, a different, different feeling somehow. Also when I was traveling, like I saw the world, I was in Australia, in Asia and so on and I just came back here and then things were the same, kind of, it just felt the same. Plus, then I was also reading a book summary of a book which was about dealing with your finances. So, it is about how to make more money out of money. So, basically letting your money work for you. <laughs> so, I mean, if people believe in that and there are so many people who believe in stocks and bonds and all that, yeah, Wall Street kind of thing. Um, this is like toxic, I see a dystopia, like where we are heading towards, and I mean this is very well explained in the book The Origin of Most Problems. Um, it, will be a, it will be a crazy world where just everybody thinks about themselves and nobody knows how to navigate and where the problems come from because everybody is so ingrained like in this religion like also this yeah trade religion where everybody thinks like yeah money is real it's just a paper an imaginary thing and also like great philosophers like Yoga, Noah, Harari they also just explain that it's just a thing that humanity is believing in and um, as long as this will like stay around um, we will have problems no matter yeah no matter what we do because it's like we explain in the game of monopoly so there's just no way of making this game um, like fair so yeah i don't know if like <laughs> you see it's it is so tricky so um, yeah, I mean, I'm serious about this trade free idea, like trade is the origin of most problems. And yeah, so I also need to think in the long run, like um, how to sustain myself, because like, how can I do it? Of course I could like get part-time jobs all the time, 
but I don't want to work in a warehouse like even though it's just part-time I don't know so it is tricky and I also I mean that's the dilemma we are all in kind of right because I guess we all want to have the freedom of doing whatever we enjoy doing and love doing but um, we are forced kind of human beings are forced to slave away in different jobs and um, jobs that we can automate and that are ridiculous and just um, nonsense so it is the trade based society that fucks things up but now what can you do as a single individual being i mean you know i <laughs> i was doing so much i was volunteering all the time i was donating thousands of euros i was translating every trom book into german except one i was translating the tradefree.org website the tradefree directory into german and i'm adding stuff there and managing it um, yeah I'm doing so many things but then like I can't sustain myself just volunteering all the time and that's unfortunate I because I know many more people would volunteer would like create trade free software and that but they are forced to work in a job because they need money to sustain themselves so it is really really tricky and also like if I do that apprenticeship as a carpenter or so I could also donate some money and keep um, supporting projects which do trade free goods and services or I could also support Trom of course I mean of course I will always um, be around but um, yeah I think um, this just gives me like a different set of opportunities um, and maybe I would also enjoy that more because in the end it's also about having fun like <laughs> I just realized that also when I came here you know all this like yeah slaving away and like this stress of this trade-based society so like you also should enjoy life and take it easy and also yeah just have a good time and i think if i work in the cable park and do that apprenticeship maybe um yeah i could just live a slower lifestyle in a way you know because it's always so busy everything is in rush and also the city life is is quite exhausting in one way or another it can be very stimulating very interesting but also exhausting so let's see i mean this will be a lifelong journey it's gonna be very interesting i mean you know i'm also 24 years old right now basically the whole life is in front of me and with this mindset of the trade free idea yeah you i guess you can just volunteer and work as much as possible into this direction but then also you yeah need to find a way to sustain yourself and get comfortable in one way or another and have a good time meanwhile <laughs> so um yeah and then you know of course i'm here now um, because of christmas to see my family and spend time with them and i mean christmas itself like it's just ridiculous if you think about it it comes from religion and it was uh, the birth of jesus <laughs> but now it turned into like this uh, trade-based consumeristic like spending as much money kind of thing as possible it's just ridiculous you know also <laughs> i have to show it to you i got uh, this for um as a santa claus present from my aunt and i mean of course it's very nice from her but um yeah i mean to me these things are um like santa claus and christmas and the easter bunny like what the fuck that's just ridiculous but of course it's nice from her and i appreciate that and she just yeah is a nice very nice person so um yeah and also this concept of family i mean you know now at christmas everybody like comes together with his family and then they just spend time with each other but you know i also feel like everybody's my family we are all human beings so that girl in Malaysia or that boy from Africa or from South America is also my family and I would I mean it stresses me out that they are struggling struggling to survive struggling to yeah sustain themselves it's just 
yeah, I would love to help them, but I cannot. It's it's a trade-based structure, and this is really the dilemma where we are all in, kind of. Um, and yeah, so many people don't even realize that that's the problem. So yeah, I think I will just keep continuing my videos, making noise about that problem because yeah, I didn't came across many people who realize that trade is the core problem. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a lifelong journey. <laughs> Let's see where it leads towards too. But yeah, this was a short update from here <laughs> today. I was also baking some Christmas cookies with my grandma and my sister and <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, just give up on the thought that like the world will change. I mean, of course it changes all the time. It changes very slowly, but this like core structure, this tray based structure, this, the elephant in the room, this is a really, um, tricky one <laughs> and it will be um, yeah very hard to to kind of evolve out of that even though we have all the technology it's just a yeah a human thing a societal thing kind of and it will take the effort of many people i guess to move towards a saner society where trade is kind of obsolete or a thing of the past so yeah, these are some thoughts from my side. Um, I will probably not make any videos the next days. Um, let's see about it. And um, yeah, just have a good time. Take care. Much love.